Sadhguru Vandanam. Let's sit straight. Vishwalaya Swamiji in your third eye. And let's start with the Sadhguru Vandanam. Nityanandam Paramasukadam Kevalam Yanamurthin Vanvatitam Gangana Sadasham Tattvamasya Nilakshyam Ekam Nittam Vimalam Achalam Sarvadi Sakshi Bhutam Vavatitam Trigunarhitam Sadgurum tam namami. Nityananda, such a powerful space. Welcome to Kailash Kotiyat Manifesting Power Session. Such a great space that Swamiji has awakened in all of us. A deeper cognition, higher frequency, making us manifest our reality is the only goal Swamiji says. Swamiji's words. Once Swamiji said a beautiful story, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, he was sit sitting and there was a very big drunkard. He came to Ramakrishna Paramahamsa and asked, I want to get rid of this. How can I get rid of this? Please help me. And Ramakrishna Paramahamsa said, mm, okay, you can just uh, offer Kali, put in your hand an offer to Kali and after that you drink, no problem. And he was pretty shocked, but he had such a simple integrity with his guru, 
Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, even while he was living, everybody knew he was the ultimate and he was an avatar push. So he went back and then came after a few weeks and said, few days, and he said, I'm not able to drink at all. What is it? So powerful. That is the power of Guru's words. Anything Guru says, if you just have a simple listening, simple integrity, it becomes your life reality, existential reality itself. Now, Swamiji also says one more beautiful example where Sharada Devi was sitting and one of the devotee came running and he said, I have all the bad habits. I don't know what to do in life. I want to get rid of them, but I'm not able to even be without thinking of them even for a minute. What do I do? She doesn't even want to see that person. With her toes, she gives a beetle leaf and she, he, he takes the beetle leaf and he writes a reminiscence after a few years. He writes, I even forgot I had an issue like that. And I have went to Sharada Devi Ma and she gave a beetle leaf. Only now after a few years, I even remember that such an instant in my life happened that I had a problem and then I went and had the beetle leaf. Understand the power of Guru's Guru and giving such powerful cognition every day just listening to him will be making us all enlightened. So now we'll go to the Shastra Pramana to manifest the beautiful powers that whatever Swamiji is going to show us. The Shastra Pramana for the power to alter color of eyes, hair and skin is taken from the Vijnana Bhairava Tantra, Sutra 80, Dharana 57. Stula Rupasya Bhavasya Stabdham Drishtim Nipatyacha Achirena Niradharam Manah Kritva Shivam Vrajet Stula Rupasya Bhavasya Stabdham Drishtim Nipatyacha Achirena Niradharam Manah Kritva Shivam Vrajet Such a beautiful sutra, Vigdhyana Bhairava Tantra, Sutra 80, Narana 57. So it, this translates, having fixed the gaze without blinking on the gross object and then directing the attention inward, thus making the mind free from all thought currents. One experience and reaches the state of Shiva without delay. Three parts of the whole sutra. Having fixed the gaze without blinking on the gross object and directing the attention inward. The more and more we understand that we are consciousness, I am Paramashiva. Start living the space, I am Paramashiva. Start engaging the whole thing as I am Paramashiva. But that comes from a beautiful space of feeling the oneness with everything. When you feel the oneness with everything, how your cells, how your body parts work, if the heart doesn't function well, the lungs takes up the responsibility and start functioning more. Simply it does not complain, it does not react, it does not do anything. But understand it's part of each other. Like right hand is part of the left hand. Same thing if you understand everybody is from your creation. You are Paramashiva, you gave the script, you are writing the whole thing. And if somebody is reacting in your presence, it is only you where the master code is and simply you have to rewrite it in the way you want it. By reaction and complaint, we are only throwing our tantrum which is going to of no use. Beautiful example Swamiji shows that if you are in a house and you have many electrical components, you have a light, you have a fan, you have air condition, you have a refrigerator, so many things. Suppose the air condition is not working, you don't take it and throw it away. You don't blame it, you don't complain, you don't react with it, not fight with it. Take a stick and beat it. 
you take the responsibility to fix it and you take the responsibility to make it function better for you same way if in if you decide that the whole world that is where you are existing all the people that you are creating is nothing but a reflection of you if you understand if somebody is throwing a tantrum is nothing but a reflection of you who is throwing the tantrum if you go to your inner world and understand the powerful cognition that everything is a reflection of you and understand how swami ji is raising us to the higher frequency the ishvara shakti which is greater than the nuclear strong nuclear force also if that is what you experience more you will not be wasting your time in fighting with people rather just making all that ridden then by understanding you are parameshwara you have given the script so everybody is acting in the same way so rewrite the script in the way you want it and simply manifest your reality but for you to be in the space of consciousness it will start happening only if you are celebrating your conscious it is going to be reflection of your inner space as your outer world so here very beautifully he says without blinking on the gross object and then directing your attention inward you are consciousness you are parameshwara thus making the mind free of all thought currents if you understand everything that you see is nothing but you a reflection of you you are parameshwara the mind has no work except to dissolve inside and make it happen as you wish one experience is reaches the state of shiva simple integrity with your guru the diksha that you receive the shakti pada you feel with swami ji simply will make you manifest everything because now that parameshwara has initiated you to experience the greater reality simply that in a initiation will start becoming reality so such a beautiful sutra now we'll go to the manifesting instructions here we are going to change the color of your eye or skin or hair so let's take a picture or mark that spot where we are going to change the color then let's sit straight with your neck head and spine in a straight line so that the kundalini raises to your agnya swami ji beautifully says how yoga aligns the whole thing yoga the more you do you more you'll understand the thought word and actions everything is aligned to the cosmic geometry the kundalini inside you makes you so liberated once you start doing yoga every day you will just cherish for those moments again and again it's not like weight lifting you have to push yourself here you have to enjoy yourself being in the yoga just relaxing into the deeper of space of you so such a beautiful space contemplate on these truth that speaks the mahavakya as ajaba ajaba waking up your inner being itself the deep inside you the deep core of you is swami ji himself when you wake up the deep core of you you fall into the bliss with swami ji himself so the oneness that you will experience more and more when you chant the mahavakya and connect to swami ji in the beautiful space so let's remember the darshan and let's start chanting the mahavakya om nityananda paramashivoham let's get into the meditation let's sit straight 